All right, boys and girls, welcome to Garden Guitar, and we have Malou and Prince Royce. They are creating the Contigo song here, so let's go into this one. And uh, yeah, nice collaboration here, and we're gonna play with this um, rhythm going on here. Very easy, kind of strumming, and that's it. With six chords that creates contigo so let's go into this song and no need for any capo here all right so going clean starting off with the chords and the c so c will be third on a second on d open g first b and open e next chord is a minor seven so that will be open a second d open g first b and open e we have d next that goes open D, second G, third B, first E. And then comes the G. And we have um, two different grips on it. I wanna show you the chord first, but then when we go with the pickings, we will see how to handle the G in a better way. But the full chord will be third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, and third E. We had F next, that's a bar chord, so you place the index finger on the first fret to cover all strings there, and then you need to add third on A, third on D, and second on G. And the final chord will be E. And that goes open E, second A, second D, first G, open B, and open E. So there you have all the chords, C, a minor 7, D minor, G, F, and E. All right, so we're gonna look at the picking now and it goes like this. That was the C chord, that's the first chord. So you're gonna play. And what I do here, I pick the strings. If you want to, you can just do down strokes instead. It's up to you. When you pick the strings here, I would like to use the bass note, in this case the A string, the third fret A string from the chord, and then I use the three strings below there, D, G, and B. That is pretty much how I pick the chords. But like I said, if you wanna have a pick or down, it's up to you, but you're gonna play like this. So pick, clap, pick, short pause and then comes the final clap and that is one round so a couple rounds more with downs So we got that now and let's go into the verse play. We're gonna play C1, string around, A minor seven, one, D minor one, and then G1 and G, I'm gonna show you how to do it because we have two notes here that are very prominent in this verse play. So um, yeah, that was what I spoke about when I mentioned the G and how to handle it with picking. So uh, that's the first, uh, sorry, the last chord here in this corporation of the verse. So you're gonna play C1, A minor, then D minor, and now comes the G, you're gonna play this. So now what you need is only to hold the third fret on E string in the bass, and then you're gonna use the first fret B string as the first note, so I pick that one, the down clap, and then I, let it go to get the open B string, and I pick that one and clap. That's the difference there. So you cannot hold the full chord here if you want to go with the notes, because you have uh, fingers in the uh, wrong direction pretty much. So what you need is to hold the third fret E string, and I do that with my ring finger, and then I'm able to use my index finger down there to regulate the first fret B string and open B. All right, so. And that ends the chord progression. You're gonna play four rounds of this. So C1, A minor one, D minor one, G1, four rounds. It goes like this.
right? Two runs was that, you double up, and we are into the pre-chorus now. You're gonna play F1, C1, E1, A minor 7 one, then F1 and one down on G. And now I recommend you hold the full chord as it is on the G. One down on that, and a big pause that leads into the chorus. So, F1, C1, B, A minor, For only this round and we are into the chorus now you're gonna play f1 g1 and now you can hold the full chord and play uh, the picking order down if you want to so f1 g1 c1 and a minor one you're gonna do that for two rounds and then you're gonna play f1 and one down on g with a big pause and that is the end of the chorus so f1 g1 one, A one, one, again. And the ending is F1 and G. All right, and that is the end of the chorus. And then after this first chorus, you have an instrumental part, and that is to play the verse play. One round of that, which is the C, A minor, D minor, G. And uh, then the last G there, instead of playing the with the two notes there, you just play one down on that G, okay? So the verse play for one round, C1, A minor 1, D minor 1, and one down on the G, okay? That is the first round, so to speak. Then the second round here, the second verse, you're going to play exactly the same way, only two rounds instead of four. So... It's uh, half as long, only two rounds, and that takes us into the second pre-chorus. Played in the exact same way as the first one, no changes there. And the same goes with the second chorus. The only difference there is after you play the F1, G1, C1, A minor 1 for two rounds, you're going to play F1, and the ending chord G is not one down only. You're going to play one full picking round, okay? Why? Because that leads into the bridge parts. So after the second chorus, you play the bridge part. We are now about to, uh, one minute and 57 seconds into the song. And what you're gonna do here is to play uh, F1, G1, C1, and A minor one. That is one chorus round, okay? And uh, that's it for the bridge parts. And then you just go back to the chorus play, the final third chorus, and play that one. Now you had the F1, G1, C1, A minor 1. On the previous courses you played for two rounds. Now you're gonna play for four rounds, okay? So four rounds instead of two in this last course. And then you just end in the same way with F1 and one down on G. And that's my friends, ends Contigo with Malu and Prince Royce. So uh, yeah, hope that helped guys. Really enjoyed to do these tutorials and uh, would like to have some feedback on it if you like it or not. And uh, specifically this tutorial here. If you like it, then feel free to support me here in any way you like. So thank you so much guys. Until next time, play tuned.